Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! Since last time I got all the equipment back at the Floatland Town there. So we're all set and ready to go. Let's explore more of, well, Floatland here. Where could Maitreya be if she wasn't in the ruins there? Hmm. By the way, uh, one thing I want to mention, if you equip something on a fifth character, you can never remove it. So make sure that whatever you give to Dion is the best stuff. Well, there's a little mountain here. Let's take a look around. Okay, remember this spot because this is a fork in the path here. I'll come back there off screen eventually. So let's take the right path here first and then we'll come back. And on this mountain, we get little uh, healing points there. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but well, there you are. That's kind of nice. Don't worry about your MP in this area. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I love doing that. Hitting your head on the ceiling is fun. And we get an ice shield. Uh, it's not really better on defense, but it, it does protect you from fire, and there's very few pieces of equipment that do that, so I'd hold on to that for later. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to backtrack off screen and meet you back at the fork there. All right, we're back at the fork, and uh, on the way back we gained a level. I transformed into a Loki, which uh, has the best strength for this level, so I guess it's technically better there. But uh, I lost my Stone Gaze ability. I would have rather had Stone Gaze, but oh well. I have to hit my head on every ceiling, or bridge, under the bridge. Let's take this left path here first. There we go. Well, um, an air crystal can never have enough of those. Except for fire crystals for some reason. Hmm. They are the rarest ones in the game, so... And they're pretty darn good, so that's probably why. Let's see. Yes. I think that's the last healing station, so now you want to try and conserve your MP a little bit. This mountain is not the end. It is just the beginning. As you can see, there's a tower there. We want to get in there. Maybe Matreya is in there. Let's check it out. Yeah, now the encounter rate becomes normal for me. Let's check this place out. Kind of uh, futuristic. Where do these guys get all this technology, anyway? Eh. Well, first things first, we get a Cure 3 potion. It's alright, I guess. I know there's new enemies around here somewhere. Harder ones. Two. Okay, well, there's a dull hand. That's the exact same thing as what I got. Um, yeah, we could use stone on them. Why not? Uh, now nah, let's save the MP. I think we're fine. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, off screen, actually, before the beginning of this episode, I upgraded Sharon to the next equivalent of the same robot that she was before. She still has drop, but she also has freeze. So that's pretty nice, because there's quite a few enemies at this point that are weak to. Uh, well, ice, like those tires there. Uh, or Tornado, if they're weak to... Th or not Tornado, Thunder. If they're weak to Thunder, they are weak to Ice. So, keep that in mind. See, Dull Hands, eh, nothing special about them. I think they can confuse you with something. With their brains! No, no. But they can confuse you, so watch out for that. Nice, uh, Matrix Cape, or coat that you've got on there, Arthur, or whatever that thing is. Straight jacket? No, uh, I don't know what you call it. Trench coat. I think it's a trench coat. And we get a psychic gun. That's pretty nice. We want to equip that on Gloria there, but we still want to hold on to the uh, psychic sword, because as you can see by her agility, it uh, lowers her, or the psych you don't have the agility boost, but you do get a magic boost, and the psychic gun actually deals quite a bit of damage. You can also target groups with it, like most firearms, so that's pretty nice. It's pretty handy for random battles. Not so much for, uh, well, bosses and things like that. Where did all the monsters go around here? Huh. Let's see, we get an Earth Crystal. Awesome. Can never have enough of those. Turning into a little bit of a long tower. A lot of floors to this place. I like how they got the little clouds on the edge there, though. They make you feel like you're 
Well, you're above the clouds. I mean, I suppose we are. We are in float land. Oh, we've got some new enemies here. Ronins. We want to take them out as quickly as possible. They have that instant death attack that I wish Curtis had, but I don't. Yeah, let's show off that gun that we got there, too. Let's see, uh... Yeah, you want to get Ronin stoned to uh, take them out as quickly as possible. So there you are. Man, everyone's missing today, apparently. Fortunately, stone spells usually do not miss. Wow, that's pretty good. That's even better than what a beast or a human could do at this point in the game. Can you guys hit someone? Man. Uh, anyway, we should be able to finish them off with uh, physical attacks. Uh, uh, let's see, those dra the dragon on the right, young dragon there, they are immune to fire. Let's see, I would imagine that other guy that we just killed there can confuse you, but uh, I'm not worried about it. Now well, we get a fire 2 spell. Thanks. Thanks game, right after I spent all the money on it. Oh, hey, I got some cyborg parts. Will it work? Yes! I transformed into Ronin! I've got some of the best beasts, cyborgs, and robots around. We got the uh, Dispel attack. Yeah! Instant death. Protection from Confuse. How can you lose? Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> I love it when I make rhymes accidentally. And we get the Exit spell. It does what you think it does. It takes you out of the area. I forget whether it can be used as an instant death attack, but why would I use that for it anyway? I've got Dispel now. And he's got a sort of a samurai look to him. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh! Looks like we got a monster in our game! No, no, a monster in our way. Let's get him! Oh, we're gonna fight him on the screen, huh? Uh-oh! It knocked us down the pit! Diane, come on! Oh, yeah, and Sharon, I, I barely know you, because, well, you weren't from the future. What are we gonna do now? Huh? What's that? Looks like a secret passage! To Matreya! Oh no! Can Dion take on Matreya by himself? And survive? Find out next time on Let's Play! What do you mean it's too early for a cliffhanger? Nuts. Well, can we catch up with him? Huh. Well, I guess we just gotta climb back up and come after him. Oh, this must be the previous floor. Huh, okay. Well, let's keep on climbing the tower. See if we can find him. Wonder how he got to where he was anyway. Hmm. Well, let's just take... Oh, this floor is different. And we got some new enemies here. Uh, Valkyrie and Remora. Probably want to take out Valkyrie first if you can. Let's show off the spell while we're at it. Let's use Fire 2. Yeah, on just one of them. I'm afraid if I split it up, it might not work. So let's give that a try. Yeah, look at that. Free instant death attacks. How do you beat that, baby? <laughs> Let's see. Would that have killed two of them? Let's see, soldiers. No, it wouldn't have. It would have just barely been short. If you've been doing some level grinding, that might have finished them off, but no, no. Oh, well. The X-Fire staff is fire elemental, so that, well, that would have dealt a little extra damage if I actually hit the guy, but I didn't. Oh, well. Let's see, we get a Cure 3 potion. In the battle armor, I think that boosts your power by uh, 5, but not your agility. Yeah, yeah, it boosts your strength by 5. I still like the, uh, well, either way, I like the uh, strength bonus a little better on my uh, beast there. So, uh, hmm, I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Where am I, where was I supposed to go then? Well, remember that uh, wall that Diane found there? There's a hidden passage behind there. Let's take a look around, see if we can meet up with him. Oh, yeah, this is where we were, or the other side there. Well, there we go. Uh-oh, it looks like Matreya took out Diane. It already took Faye and the X-Plane unit. Can we defeat him without Diane's help? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!